Hey guys, it's Neil here again uh, with Ref Vlog Phase uh, with a, another tutorial on Heaxcad and using it for solid modeling for the Ref printer. Um, we'll go ahead and do some two dimensional drawings and extrude them into the third dimension to make them printable. Um, when you want to do that, you'll go over here to your two dimensional drawing. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a line drawing so you click the squiggly right there. And it's nice enough to have a tell you what to do. Click on your start point. Uh, forgive my artistry. I am very bad at drawing. So we're just going to draw a shark here. Really quick. Nothing fancy. More just to prove a point. Now, um, it would actually be easier to use another program like Inkscape to actually draw this in two dimensions and then import it. But just for expedience sake, we're going to do it this way. That way I can show you another thing how to do. So anyway, once you're done and you don't want this line, you either go over here and hit finish drawing or you can just hit escape. And that'll end that last line. So now along on the Y and X axis, looking down the Z axis, we have our two dimensional object. To select it, you just left click, which selects the whole item. And we're going to extrude it up five millimeters. Just click in there, hit five. And you can slide that over a little bit. Extrude makes a solid. That's what you want. If you say if you tell it to make a solid, it'll actually solidify it and pull it up. So yes. There we go. So we now have our formerly two-dimensional shark, which has now been turned into a three-dimensional object. I know it's ugly, but this is why I like this program. You can then file, save the file as a SDL. Now remember, if you're saving something you're ever going to want to modify again, you don't want to save it as an SDL. You want to save it as a HEEX file. That way you can go back and modify it again. But we're just going to export this as an XDL. So save. Here's the th awesome part, is that it didn't take any time, and right there, I didn't, I didn't even give it a title. So let's go ahead and use Skeen Forge. Skeen Forge, our unknown file. Okay, and Skeen Forge sometimes takes a second, so I'm going to pause it. Well, there's no point to that. It did it in like five seconds. But anyway we can now see it is printable. Pretty much everything you draw with this program is printable. So that didn't take any time at all. Pull this back up. Any two-dimensional object that you um, draw can be extruded into the third dimension. So you could draw a block, select it, Stop drawing blocks by hitting escape, select it, hit extrude up, and it'll extrude it up. Um, you can do the blocks, you can do O-brands, O-browds, I'm sorry, you can do polygonals. Uh, with polygonals, uh, your standard six-sided bolt, you'd want to use six sides, and once you enter the number, you want to hit tab to go to the next so it saves it. Um, now, any polygonal I draw will be six-sided. Six-sided, of course, is your bolts. Um, typically, I do not draw actual circles when I'm drawing something to print. Um, usually, like, 15-sided polygonals make good small circles. So, oh, polygonal 15 side. So, if you're doing a small circle, like 15-sided, um, if it's a big circle, you want to do 30. Uh, it, it'll make it print better with a RepRap printer. Uh, it doesn't really like lots of sides, and a circle has hundreds of sides. Um, so change that to 30. So as you can see, looks just like a circle. Until you get really big, you can see the bumps. But that will print way better on a RepRap. Way better. What horrible English I have. Um, those are your... Um, two-dimensional. The only other way you can do a two-dimensional object in this program are circles. 
um, it gives you four different ways you could actually draw a circle. Well, three ways to draw a circle and one way to draw an ellipse. We'll go ahead and go over those. Uh, first one is this image right here. This one gives you a three-point circle. So um, click your first point, second point, and third point. Now these will be along the outside edge of the circle. So like let's say for instance I wanted a circle that touched here, here, and there. See I'm now actually, it'll always touch those two points and I can attach any way I want. See? Awful neat. Um, second way to draw a circle is center point mode. Now you notice it has radius over here 20. All you're doing is designating the center point. You designate how wide it is over here. So this will be a 20 millimeter circle. So, no, I'm sorry. I'm lying to you. This is the radius circle. So you click the center point and then you click the outside radius. So I got confused there. Okay, this one right here, the one with the uh, looks like the spokes, that one you actually preset your radius. So anytime I click, I will make a 20 radius circle. If I want to make a lesser radius circle, I just typed over here. Five. And then five radius circles. Now of course all these are on the XY axis. I'm looking down the Z axis. So those are all your two dimensional shapes. Um, next we'll be talking about uh, the different types of um, non-visible stuff and I'll probably get into some of the rotations. See you in a minute.